how did you do it without including the no preserve root option? And another comment, I was expecting that fail safe warning of adding no preserve root tag. Okay, so this was based on the video where I showed you how to destroy a Linux system with a single command based on the PewDiePie video. In this example, I'm logged in as root, so I don't actually need to use the word sudo, but just to be consistent with a previous video, I'll do that. So sudo rm dash rf root, press enter. Notice we have to use the no preserve root option to override this fail safe. So it's dangerous to operate RM recursively on root, which basically destroys our system. The no preserve option will override this. But if I simply put star at the end there, it's actually not gonna ask for the fail safe and it'll just delete the system. What you might have noticed there, some directories disappeared. As soon as I did that, more directories are disappearing. So we are basically destroying the system using that command. You can see screen is going blue now. Folders are not looking good. Our system is destroyed. My command prompt closed down. System is destroyed, blue screen now. Now one of the things I did here as a real fail safe is I did this in a VM. So if I reboot this, the system is destroyed, but I can bring it back using a snapshot. So there you go, system is destroyed. But all I need to do to bring the system back is restore from a snapshot. This one was actually running. If you restore from a snapshot while the system is running, it will take more space. But there you go, I'm back again to where I was. So system is restored now because I was running Linux within a VM. Highly recommend that you do that if you're new to Linux, create a snapshot on a regular basis so that if you do mess things up, you can just restore your snapshot and things are back again.